Welcome to Inaware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an SA38 transaction automation script to generate reports based on a query from user group obtained by SQ01. Here is a sample report and the folder in which the report will populate. First in our SAP GUI, let's enter SQ01 and press enter. Now let's click the Other User Group button and scroll down and select our desired user group name, Z underscore USPR. In Query, let's select the Search Help icon and select our Z underscore USPR query. Now we will click the Display button to bring up the menu bar. From the Query menu, we will select More Functions, then Display Report Name. Let's copy this report name by selecting it and pressing Ctrl C on the keyboard. Next, we will press on the back arrow and exit out of the SQ01 transaction. Let's open Process Runner Enterprise and double click on New Transaction. Now, in the New Process pop up window, in the Transaction Code box, enter SA38. Let's press the Start Recording button and log on to the appropriate SAP system in our SAP landscape. In Program, use Ctrl V on the keyboard to paste the report name we just copied, and then click Execute with Variant. Let's enter the variant name, CUS and Standard, and click Execute. Under Output Format, let's select Expand. For File Store, let's enter a folder path and file name then click Execute. In the Transfer US Payroll query to a local file screen, let's check the With Column Headers box, and then click Transfer. Now let's click the Exit button to end the recording process. Here in the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, we can see that Process Runner has generated a template and data set in this internal instance of Excel with our information for the ABAP program name and variant. On the row for path, from the mapping type dropdown, let's change the mapping type from Excel column to system value. This will enable our automation script to automatically name our file with the date and time that the automation script was run. Under map value in the system values pop-up, we will first enter our default folder path, C colon backslash payroll data backslash, and then click on the system value menu, select the timestamp option, and then add .xls. Our path and file name will no longer come from iBook data. The file path will be our new fixed value, and our Excel name will be generated from the SAP system values. Here in our home ribbon, we can see that our default start row is already set to two, which we can leave for our script. The launch SAP GUI checkbox is currently not selected. Let's execute this script without this box being checked, so we can see how Process Runner can auto-detect when this needs to be enabled and provides a pop-up stating that it can automatically check this for us. We are ready to execute our script, which we could do from here. However, let's go to the iBook ribbon so we can see the SAP success messaging right directly to the iBook. Let's hit the Run button, and we are prompted to save our script to our hard drive or network. Confirm your SAP logon credentials, and now we get the pop-up stating that this transaction requires the SAP GUI to be launched. Click Yes to have Process Runner auto-fix the launch SAP GUI error, and then click No to bypass the debug option. Save the file again, hit the Run button, and Process Runner will now automatically launch the SAP GUI each time we execute this file. We have the SAP success messaging right in our iBook, and here in the Payroll Data folder is the new Excel file which has just been generated. If we go to the Scheduler tab of Process Runner, click on Schedule, and follow the drop-down prompts, we can set Process Runner to run these reports automatically at the scheduled time of our choosing, fully automating the report generating process. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.